Hi everyone. Well, tonight I am going to do a little bit about light codes. So uh, the other night I had a massive download of light code and when I get them, I was dreaming when I got them and I was actually dreaming that I was asleep in my dream and I was getting the download of light codes and they were all being written in front of me and just before, so in my dream, in my dream, just before they started, the whole energy that I was looking at, so I was looking at a scene, but in front of the scene, the whole energy changed and then all of a sudden I felt something shift even in my own head and then I started seeing all these light codes that were being written and they were coming along in a big line so anyway, I tuned back into that and I ended up drawing them and I've come up with this, is what I drew. So if you like, you can come back and freeze your video that you're watching or freeze this video that you're watching on this and have a really good study of them and see which resonates with you. Because when I get these downloads, and I get them fairly regularly, I used to get them a lot more regularly than what I get them now, but I still get them fairly regularly. And I see them in all different ways. So I often see them, I, I will see them being written. Uh, sometimes I'm asleep and I first see it, and then I actually wake up. And I've got my eyes shut and I'm still seeing it all being written behind my eyelids. So uh, I get it like that. Um, I also can get it instantly in like three flashes of light. Like poof, poof, poof. And it's so intense in my head that it wakes me up. But I know it's light codes that are coming in and I'm being activated. Now when I say activated, it's not a conscious thing that I know what they mean. Some of them I do and I can get an idea of what it means and I can relay that message um, when I put them out, say on my Facebook page or, or LinkedIn or, or um, Instagram or any of those. And I can relay that message, but that I have to kind of feel into it unless I really get a prompting that it means this. Um, what I do know is that these codes of light, now remember light is information, light is a frequency, so is sound a frequency, and so is sound and information. And they're very, very close together, so sometimes you might get high-pitched ringing in your ears and you can feel the pressure change and that will be also a download of information. And you can get them in visuals with the light codes. And it is it is literally a visual form of this download of information. What it does do is the frequency of them and the information that comes in. Now, I call it quantum light technology because I know that it is intelligent in nature bit like Reiki healing is, and that, you know, when that Reiki first came out, uh, that was obviously an extremely new healing. Uh, there were codes, the Reiki symbols, uh, that came with this form of energy healing. Um, and uh, it's been around ever since. And there's many, many people all over the world now that, that have learned how to do Reiki. But this is a new advanced form of healing technology that's coming through. Yes, it's coming from ET, but it's also coming from the creator. And it blends, not the right word. It interacts, that's the right word, with your entire energy system, with your light body, with your DNA, with your own natural coding, your own natural um, energy signature. 
it interacts with it. Remember, it's intelligent. The same as way Reiki is intelligent, is a form of, of uh, intelligent healing. This is also intelligent. I know this to be true because um, I've been working with it now for many years. I've been getting these downloads for many years. And over those years, every time I've got downloads, I have noticed the change within my own energy system. It's not a conscious thing. It is a an awareness, if you like, of how my energy has changed, how I've become a lot more, and this is not meant egotistical or anything like that, but a lot more powerful in my own light because my DNA has been activated a bit more and it goes deeper than what I'm even explaining. It's deeper than what I even know. It is multidimensional in nature. So each one of these symbols will mean a massive amount on a multidimensional spectrum. So each one of these symbols will have a huge amount of information in them. And that information will connect in with soul body, light body, energy body, emotional body, and eventually the physical. So it's soul body first. Your soul will recognize, that's why, you know, when I put these things out, I get a lot of people say, wow, I don't know what that means, but I recognize that. And I even say it when I speak like language or when somebody else speaks like language. It is recognized, but it's not consciously recognized. It is recognized through your heart on a soul level because it is the information of creation. But each individual that gets these downloads, and there are many, many all over the planet, are being activated in their light form. So it is a form of power, but it's in light to radiate out more light from the creator through your own soul, th from God, if you like, through your own soul, through your own heart. And it is multidimensional in nature, so it activates your multidimensional light body and your higher consciousness and your heart frequency, expanding you out on a energy level, on a multidimensional level. And there is no time and space connected to this. It is, like I said, intelligent. It can go through time and space and shift anything that perhaps might be in your system that needs shifting. So often with these activations, it's like you're being activated, you take a step up, but sometimes a clearing comes out, out after this because it's making adjustments in your entire field and your entire being. We are multidimensional creatures, only we've lost it over hundreds of years of being controlled and ruled by the so-called elite, which are now are actually starting to shake in their boots because they're being brought to justice slowly. And I don't mean justice as in punishment and all that, injustice as in the light is winning and the dark is sinking. Now, many of these beings on a human level will be brought to justice and they'll go through the court systems and stuff like that. But us who are light bearers have to hold the light and have compassion. And the best thing we can actually do is send them love because 
a lot of these people are satanic. They worship the dark side. So the more that we send them love, we'll raise their frequency and send them off into a big spin where, where, where they're not used to it. And, and their, their whole system will go into overload. So instead of sending hate to all these people, and you know who I'm talking about, I'm sure many of you will, they're still the up there elite, but they won't be for much longer. They, the more we send love to them, the more it's going to raise their frequency, the more it's going to create such a wobble in their vibration that it will create them to perhaps make mistakes because they won't be able to keep that frequency, that lower frequency, uh, they will actually start to rise because it's a natural thing. The whole earth is rising at the moment. So they are trying to hold on to that lower frequency, that lower energy, that dark energy, if you like. And... We, the light bearers, are here shining our lights out really brightly, sending out pure love and light all over the world, uh, even to people that might have really peed you off in some way or made you angry or made you upset or whatever. Best thing you can do for them is send them love because it will change their frequency. Honestly, it really will and it works. So back to the light codes. The people that are getting light codes, and there's many, many people getting them. There's many people that have been getting them for several years, like myself. There are also people that now are starting to get them. It is an activation. It is coming from ET. This is your team. So everyone's got a team of spiritual helpers, interdimensional being helpers, ET helpers. And they um, are the angelic realms higher realms from the spirit world, the masters, uh, beings of light, uh, interdimensional beings um, and travellers that are on a higher dimension, beings from higher dimensions and our beautiful ET friends who have perhaps travelled in their um, crafts in many, many different ways, I want to say. Some perhaps in solid form, but there are many energy crafts. There are many beings that can travel with just their consciousness and connect with us. And that is how we will connect also to those beings. So you have a team. Every one of us has a team and it's time now to engage with your team. And these codings are coming from your team, but from beyond them, from directly from Creator. The light is really shining bright now, and this is why we're seeing a lot of um, confusion in the world, uh, especially amongst the so called elite. They know that they are not going to be staying up there um, in, in, with their dark forces, if you like. Um, because the light is winning, definitely. And they will be brought to justice. But like I said, we have to have compassion, sending them love. They are human after all, or well, most of them are human. They might be uh, overtaken at times because I've actually seen someone on a Zoom video call who was talking to hundreds of people. And I was one of those people watching. And I have seen this person who was on the stage whose moods would swing from being all love and light and lovely to really not very nice at all. And when the not very nice came in, I actually saw uh, an overshadow over her of a reptilian being. Twice I've seen that in two humans. So they can control... And I'm not saying all reptilians are bad because they're not. I have a reptilian guide. But they can control people without them knowing it. So I've had to remove 
not very nice reptilian beings off of people that have their uh, their entire energy system has gone into complete shock their nervous system is is shot um, and when I've tuned in they've actually got attachments but these attachments were reptilian and they were starting to try and control uh, this person or these people because I've removed several off several different people and that's where my guide comes in no fear we stand up we front up and we remove and I don't remove them to a place which is negative I always remove these entities or beings or spirit that are lost spirit that are lost go to the spirit world um, these other beings I always ask my team to open up the channels so they will go to a place where they will will receive love healing and understanding because we are here to transmute all that negative energy. We are here to change things. We are the change makers. Exciting. I love it. Um, so these codes, this is what I received the other night. So have a real good look and I'm going to do a transmission now while I'm holding this up. So you won't see my face. So I want you to close your eyes and just be. Take in a couple of deep breaths. Feel your body relaxing on the out breath. Releasing anything from the day and bringing yourself into that central sovereign space of harmony and peace. And just allow these codes and these light codes that I'm going to speak in language form, in audio form. That's all light language is, is these codes that are coming to you in audio form. So I am opening myself up to connect to my team my guides, my ET and interdimensional being friends and even the interdimensional being friends that live on the earth. Beings from the highest realms of the spirit world, the angelic realms and the creator, the God source. Shana tiro kira Maria tea. Uya Maria si ku shana te ira pakiana te. Ura maia nea teara. Kira moria parea nai. Ura ti kasana te o ura mai. Si kataya nare o pura mai ti. Setu ura mai ita. Ishana kriga potu. Ya Ira moria parane, ira pura madianate, ura mora paeneri, kira moria teana, ira moria po isinate, aro haro moria nera, ira mo ia po janate. Feeling that love vibration. Feeling your heart expand. Feeling your chakras all open to receive this beautiful light frequency. Remembering it is intelligent as it enters into your body. It will know where to make adjustments for you personally for healing, for activation, but to really raise your frequency and engage your light body to a much higher level of light, to 
to a higher frequency of light. And all this will eventually seep down into the physical. I can feel there are many beings with us. They are just above me and behind me. I can feel them there. And this energy, this quantum light technology, this coding is coming to you from us, from my team and myself. I'm radiating out this pure frequency to you who are listening to this now, allowing it to enter your body to enter your body right down to the soul essence of who you are. Kira moria te ene rea pai, su tu urama pasi kira matia te, ira ururu ira marie, tira marie ku urfu toya, sana te oro mai ira nai, kira poya nai, Ti onura, kishana te ara mai, ura mai ira nai tea, kira pura ya nai isi nutu, kishana te apai. Karono te apatae i tira titi titi. Just open your eyes when you're ready and come back into the room. When I speak light language, I, in my mind's eye, I see codings coming in. When I speak it over someone when I'm healing or doing an activation, I see codes coming in from all around, all through the quantum field, codes coming into that person. So if, if you can hear that music behind me, it's coming from the other room. That is a beautiful peace lily that I bought today, playing her frequency, her vibration through the music of the plants machine that I have. How beautiful is that? And if you can hear Hank, he is snoring down here on the floor. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to wish you a beautiful evening. I'm going to go and get in the spa and connect with my ET friends. Um, I will take my radio out with me and um, I might film it, I might not, depending if I get a transmission, often I see flash bulbs, so I know they're there. And I wish you much, much love. Remember to hold that light, light beings. Hold that light. Be your sovereign being. Feel your own power. This is how we're going to get this all sorted on this planet. Radiating out love. Feeling your own powerful light body and your soul. So much love, take care, have a lovely evening or daytime wherever you are on this beautiful planet. Bye for now, bye.